New this morning, we are diving right into the Vermont dairy industry this morning. Ooh, pour yourself a big glass of chocolate milk. There you go. Enjoy it, Spencer Thomas. She's live <laughs> in South Burlington. Hi, Spencer. Nice. Well timed. There you hey, go. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> All right, so can you can you can you hear my friends over here? We're in the baby cow barn. This is Jocelyn and Alexis. We're here at the UVM Dairy Farm. We're talking all about their upcoming event this weekend. It is Family Farm Day. But first, we want to talk about these little babies. They're so cute. All right, so Jocelyn, Alexis, who do we have here? So that's Lollipop, who the camera's on right now. Yeah, she's 44 days old. She's in the process of weaning. So they come in here after they're born. Their moms lick them off for like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Um, and they come in here and we feed them colostrum, which is the mom's first milk after they give birth. Um, and so after 42 days, we start to wean them to bring them over to another barn. Okay. Uh, so she's in that process right now. So cute. And then we also have rhubarb over here. She's a pretty brown color, so adorable. And so you guys, I have to know, why are they kept in a different barn than their mothers? Um, so they're kept in a different barn than their moms because the moms go straight to the milking barn after they're born. So the babies get different feed than what their mom would produce. So they get the first two milks from their mom, which have like all the antibodies that they need for their immune systems. And then after that, we bottle feed them three to four times a day with milk replacer until they're able to wean. And the moms go over to the main barn where they get milk twice a day. Perfect. And so each of you guys share one of these little baby calves, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how cool is it that you get to kind of bring them up, right? It's such a cool process. Like um, people would tell me about it, like past creamers and stuff, but like seeing like my baby be born, it was like an incredible experience. And um, I helped pull her out of the mom. So that no was really, way. yeah, it was really cool. Oh, that is so <laughs> yeah. awesome. Am I the only one out there that thinks that's awesome besides <laughs> these guys? Probably not, probably not. We have some cow lovers out there. So, you know, during Sunday, July 14th, they have this event coming up. Yeah. Will you guys be showing people the little baby calves? Yeah. We'll definitely have one out there. Um, don't know who yet. Um, We're doing um, tours around the farm too, so we'll do a tour through here, let them touch the babies. Um, we'll tell them about them. So like Rhubarb, she's the only red calf that we have. Right. And since of like her genetics, um, she came out of a black cow actually, which is kind of cool. Oh, so she's awesome. our only red calf we have right now, which is pretty interesting. And she's the cutest. And, and whose we'll calf is she? Mine. She's she yours. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you guys look alike. Right. You know what? You know what they say. You kind. You know the owner looks like yeah. their dog. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Perfect match. I love it. So, advice for this weekend. Where can people get those tickets? What time should they get here? Um, so, farm game starts at 9 a.m. and it goes until 2 p.m. We'll have a table right in the front of our main barn where we'll have like tour times. Um, we're also selling our cream T-shirts to raise money for our program that people can buy. Um, we're going to have a barbecue, we're going to have raffles, um, face painting, yeah, Ben and Jerry's, ben and Jerry's? Okay. Yep. crafts for little kids, we're having Free a bunch cheese. of fun stuff, yeah. Free Cabot's one of our sponsors and like where our milk goes to, so we'll have cheese samples, we'll have gift boxes, it's going to okay. be great. So you guys have a lot going on here, Sunday, July 14th? Yep. July 14th, you guys, we're going to make it easy for you. We have all the information on our website, mychamplainvalley.com. So for now, we're live here in South Burlington talking all about the upcoming event this weekend. If you want more information, again, click on our website. So for now, again, live in South Burlington. Thanks, guys, for being here. Back to you guys at the desk.